de-extinction represents a groundbreaking field of science that bridges the gap between the past and the future, intertwining the threads of extinct species with modern technological marvels. At its core, de-extinction aims to resurrect species that have vanished from the Earth using a blend of genetic engineering, cloning, and a deep understanding of evolutionary biology. This concept, which once seemed limited to the pages of science fiction novels, has gradually edged into the realm of possibility due to rapid advancements in genetic technology. Among the myriad of creatures that have sparked the interest of scientists, Neanderthals occupy a unique position due to their close genetic and evolutionary relationship with modern humans. Neanderthals, our closest extinct human relatives, roamed the Earth alongside early modern humans for thousands of years. They were sophisticated beings with their own cultures, tools, and possibly even forms of language, whose genetic legacy persists in the DNA of many people today. This genetic intertwining is a testament to the complex interactions between early human species and highlights the Neanderthals' significant role in shaping the evolutionary path of Homo sapiens. The potential revival of Neanderthals through de-extinction efforts is not just about bringing back an extinct species. It's about reconnecting with a lost part of human history, offering insights into human evolution, adaptation, and survival. A controversy centered around Professor George Church of Harvard, a renowned geneticist and molecular engineer. Professor Church's suggestion of using a surrogate mother to give birth to a Neanderthal child sparked widespread debate and brought the ethical, technical, and social implications of de-extinction technologies to the forefront of public consciousness. His proposal part of a broader discussion on the potential applications of advanced genetic engineering techniques like CRISPR-Cas9, highlighted the accelerating pace of scientific discovery and the complex questions it raises. The scientific community's response to Professor Church's idea was mixed, reflecting a spectrum of opinions on the feasibility and ethicality of such an ambitious project. While some researchers were intrigued by the potential scientific insights that resurrecting a Neanderthal could provide, others raised concerns about the significant challenges and unanswered questions that surround the reconstruction of extinct genomes, particularly those of species so closely related to humans. Public and ethical backlash primarily focused on the welfare of the would-be Neanderthal individual and the surrogate mother. Critics questioned the morality of bringing an extinct species, especially a human relative, into a world where they may not belong or be accepted. Concerns about the surrogate mother's health and rights were also prominent, emphasizing the potential risks and ethical dilemmas posed by participating in such an unprecedented scientific endeavor. This controversy, sparked by Professor Church's proposal, has had a profound impact on the conversation surrounding de-extinction and genetic engineering. Advances in genome sequencing have allowed scientists to piece together the genetic puzzle of extinct species, including Neanderthals, from fragments of DNA recovered from fossils. These genetic blueprints provide the foundation for potentially resurrecting these ancient beings. Technologies such as CRISPR-Cas9, a revolutionary gene editing tool, offer the precision needed to splice ancient genes into the DNA of closely related species, inching us closer to the possibility of seeing these extinct creatures walk the earth once more. Cloning and genetic engineering stand at the forefront of the de-extinction movement, offering a glimpse into the future where extinct species might once again roam the earth. The journey begins with understanding the basic principles of cloning, a process where a genetically identical copy of an organism is created without the need for sexual reproduction. This involves taking the nucleus, which contains the organism's DNA, from a cell of the species 
to be cloned and inserting it into an egg cell that has had its own nucleus removed. When successful, this egg cell can develop into a new individual with the same genetic makeup as the original. Genetic engineering, on the other hand, delves deeper into the fabric of life, allowing scientists to directly manipulate the DNA of an organism. Techniques like CRISPR-Cas9 have revolutionized this field, enabling precise edits to be made to the genetic code. This tool can be used to insert, delete, or alter sections of DNA, making it possible to recreate specific traits or characteristics of extinct species within the genome of a closely related living species. For species like the Neanderthals, the process of de-extinction hinges on the ability to extract and sequence their DNA from ancient remains. Despite the degradation over millennia, remarkable progress in sequencing technologies has enabled scientists to piece together substantial parts of the Neanderthal genome. These genetic blueprints offer a tantalizing foundation for potentially resurrecting Neanderthals. By comparing the Neanderthal genome with that of modern humans and other primates, scientists can identify which genes would need to be edited in a surrogate genome to recreate Neanderthal traits. However, the ambition to clone extinct species, particularly those with ancient DNA like Neanderthals, is fraught with challenges. The degradation of DNA over time means that obtaining a complete and intact genome is exceptionally difficult. Moreover, the further back in time a species became extinct, the more challenging it becomes to find a suitable surrogate species for gestation. For Neanderthals, this issue is compounded by their close genetic and physiological similarities to humans, raising profound ethical questions about the use of human or closely human-like surrogates for gestation. The challenges extend beyond the technical to the philosophical, prompting a reconsideration of our relationship with nature, the past, and the ethical implications of resurrecting species that have long vanished from the earth. The interest in resurrecting Neanderthals through de-extinction technology is rooted in their unique position in the human lineage, bridging a gap between ancient history and modern humanity. Neanderthals, our closest extinct relatives, shared the planet with Homo sapiens for thousands of years before vanishing approximately 40,000 years ago. Current archaeological findings and genetic analysis have shed light on Neanderthal genetics, revealing a complex picture of interaction and interbreeding with early modern humans. This shared history is evidenced by the presence of Neanderthal DNA in the genomes of most people outside of sub-Saharan Africa today, typically ranging from 1% to 2%. This genetic legacy has profound implications, suggesting that Neanderthals contributed to our adaptation to various environments, influencing traits from immune responses to skin color. The process of reconstructing a complete Neanderthal genome is a monumental scientific endeavor. It involves piecing together DNA fragments extracted from fossilized bones and teeth, which have been preserved for tens of thousands of years. Artificial wombs, still a developing technology, could potentially provide a controlled environment for growing a Neanderthal fetus without the need for a human surrogate, thus sidestepping some ethical concerns. In the case of Neanderthals, though, the lack of a closely related species that could serve as a biological surrogate complicates this approach. Consequently, scientists are exploring the potential of advanced genetic engineering techniques and artificial womb technologies as more feasible and ethically acceptable methods for attempting Neanderthal de-extinction. These efforts to bring back Neanderthals are not just about the scientific curiosity of reviving an extinct species. 
They offer a window into understanding human evolution, the development of cultures, and the environmental adaptations that have shaped our species. Moreover, the study of Neanderthal genetics and the potential for de-extinction prompts deeper reflection on what it means to be human, the value of diversity in the human lineage, and our responsibilities towards the beings we might one day bring back into existence. As research progresses, the dialogue between science, ethics, and public perception will continue to shape the path forward in the quest to resurrect Neanderthals.